Hello, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 with Carmen Shepard. We are on Ilium right now. Uh, we've got some people to recruit here. Also met with uh, Shepard's old flame, Liara. And Liara has asked for her our help in tracking down an agent for the Shadow Broker named The Observer. So, to do that, we need to hack into some terminals and get some data, try to reconstruct it and see who this operative called the op uh, observer might be. <coughs> and the first time I did this quest, actually, it said A, call Liara. And I did. And then I picked an option and I failed the quest. Of course, I came to find out what you need to do is you need to hack all five terminals in order for the correct option to even appear. I thought that's not it. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? I did it after Eden Prime. Paid for new exosuits for my kids. You're insane. anything flashier I want something that says I own this room I own you I'll see what we can do coming up later today we release our annual list of Ilium's 10 richest people Damn it, this is just a misunderstanding! Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled! I was told that you had agreed to sell! Take her away, before I have my bartender throw her out. We'll get back to Conrad in a sec. First, let's hack this terminal. Shepard, did you get any information on the Observer? All five of the suspects are male. The Observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nick Saris. She got the information. Nick Saris gave me the information. Nick Saris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. We need to impress upon Conrad that he can't just be roaming around uh, trying to act like he knows what he's doing when he doesn't. He, he's going to get people hurt. And he's going to get himself hurt. She had to abort the sting because you compromised her ID. You cost her a lot of work, Conrad. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. I was just trying to help. I know I shouldn't have acted like I knew what I was doing, but... You acted without full information. People could have gotten hurt, even killed. You want that on your conscience? 
Or are you gonna wise up? Okay, okay, I'll go. I'll stop acting like you, and I'll make a difference. Somehow. Thanks, Shepard. It's really good to have you back. <laughs> You're acting like Shepard knows what she's doing. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Catch you anything? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that Asari wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn Genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Nah, I think we'll pass on the drink. Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Okay. Thanks for the advice. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixeras had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeras was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you have any trouble with Nixeras? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. That anger can't be just from what you've told me. What else happened between you and the Shadow Broker? Did Cerberus ever tell you how they recovered your body? I gave it to them. I gave you to them, Shepard. Because they said they could rebuild you. And to do that, I had to take it from the Shadow Broker, who was going to sell your corpse to the Collectors. Why didn't you tell me about this before now? 
Because I screwed it up, Shepard. I barely escaped with my own life. And when I gave you to Cerberus, I told myself I was doing it for you. For a chance to bring you back. But I knew Cerberus would use you for their own business. And I let it happen. Because I couldn't let you go. I'm sorry. You did the right thing, Liara. My mission is important. I couldn't do it if you hadn't given me to Cerberus. Thank you. I... I was afraid you'd hate me. So that's why I must destroy the Shadow Broker. For what he did to my friend, and to you, and whatever he's doing with the Collectors. Let me know if you need any more help. Thank you. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I'll talk to you later, Liara. All right. Well. A Batarian trading group has announced plans to sue the Citadel Council. The oh, before we do anything, I need to get back on the Normandy so that I can do some research. I think, yeah, we can do a, the biotic cooldown upgrade research now. And that would be good. I also bought some amplifier plates for my uh, for my armor. Of course, I could use that blood dragon, but I don't think I want to use the blood dragon armor right now. I might use it on Tally's recruitment, maybe some other guest missions, because the blood dragon armor adds 15% power damage, and I think it may affect my tech armor. how powerful that blast is as well as you know my other powers so I may do that but I'm gonna definitely put on those amplifier plates No messages for you, Commander. Yeah, there's a bunch of research we could do. All right, so what can we do? Extra rounds. That's good. Buy a cooldown. That's good. And uh, heavy muscle weave. And I don't think there's anything I want to do in the way of retraining. I was looking this over, and I don't think um, there's anything in particular I want to do. When I get to a Geth missions, I'm going to change armor piercing over to energy drain, I think. Um, but I don't think I want to rank up armor piercing, really. The first... Rank 1 gives you a plus 30% increase. After that, it's just like 10, 10, and then here 20, I believe. Yeah, it goes up to 20 with tungsten. Uh, but that first increment of 30% is the biggest increment right there. And I think there's other things to do, like, like my overload is not completely stripping anybody even basic level dudes so that would be good to build up warp could be good to build up and now this is a three second recharge on warp now with that biotic cooldown upgrade and throw is at one and a half seconds and this of course is a three second cooldown 
so um, I don't know I think maybe I'll put the points in here give it a little bit more thought um, of course now actually I could take that point out of armor piercing and have nothing down here because I could retrain all my powers and have nothing down here I think pretty sure I can have nothing down there and use those extra points up here if I wanted maybe now nah, it's better to keep the ammo power because how often do I actually get to use anything but tech armor not too often so I, I may just go two points here and two points there I'm not sure. We are going to do Samara's mission next. And uh, there's a bunch of barriers t there that we have to deal with. And uh, so warp would be good. But there's also some rocket folks that have shields. Anyway, I did want to put on those uh, amplifier plates. Yep, put those on for 5% extra power damage. All right, well, that's enough for this episode. In the next episode, I think we're going to start Samara's mission. So until then, have a nice day.